Welcome to the Comic Bugs Free Comic Book Day Preview. Free Comic Book Day, boys and girls. I'm Mike Wellman. This is the Comic Bug. I'm going to be your tour guide today for some of the goodies that you can get at Free Comic Book Day at the Comic Bug. Saturday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, also known as the day after the Avengers comes out in theaters. We're going to have costumed characters, so bring a camera. We're going to have creators, so bring some blank paper so they can draw stuff on that for you. Um, and we're going to have free books, free comic book day. Check it out. This year at the Comic Bug, May 5th, 2012, we're giving out a plethora of comics. And by that, I mean thousands. Let's start with the kids section, all right? The Incredible Rockhead, never before seen by human eyes, ears, noses, or anything else from Capstone Comics. Never heard of them, but looks fun. Top Shelf's Kids Club. Top Shelf, they are one of the higher class publishers out there and they are uh, obviously uh, leaning on the kids here to show them what's up. This is uh, pretty cool from DC Comics. Superman Family Adventures. And if you don't like Superman, just flip it over. We've got a Green Lantern Young Justice Super Sampler. Coolest thing about this is that uh, that Ryan dude isn't in it. Uh, who's that actor? Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yo Gabba Gabba, my son's favorite your kids favorite too. Get down here and make sure you get one of these. This is awesome. It's from Oni Press. The Smurfs. Quite possibly the most uh, peaceful blue creatures of all mankind. They're doing it with Tinkerbell on the other side. Check that out. This is fantastic. This is, uh, I don't know who published, oh, Fantagraphics published this. Donald Duck and Family. What's really awesome about this is that it is illustrated by none other than Carl Barks. That is beautiful. If you want your kids to be classy, make sure you get them one of these. Mega Man! I don't, you know, Mega Man, oh, this is the one. Mega Man I get. Like, Mega Man's kind of new. Sonic the Hedgehog just keeps going and going and going. He still has a fervid fan base. He's up to issue, like, 268 or something. Where are these kids coming from? I mean, this is Sega Genesis. Anyway, free comic day, Sonic the Hedgehog. Bongo Comics, free for all. Our role model here, the comic book guy. We are eating our Fritos, and we are hoping one day to be as awesome as this guy. But until then, we have a free Bongo Free For All, and you flip it over. A lot of flip books this year, huh? SpongeBob, SquarePants. Stuff of Legend, Third World, Third World Studios. Um, this is really cool. Uh, I think they premiered their Stuff of Legend title a few years back. Awesome book. has never really uh, died down as far as popularity. When you flip it over... And there's a preview of their new book, Finding Gossamer. It looks really excellent. Um, I love comics that are off the beaten path, you know, as far as uh, they're not like a cartoon. They're not like a mega corporation, Scooby-Doo. I mean, Scooby-Doo's awesome, but this is something, you know, that you don't see. You only see it in comics. It's great. This year at Free Comic Day, there are lots of media releases, toys, TV, you know, shows turned into comics. Books turned into comics. Lots of good stuff. Here we go. Transformers. Generate Regeneration 1. Does that make it Generation 2? I don't know. Regeneration 1. Optimus Prime. I feel like he has died and has gone to robot heaven. And he's back now. He's free for one issue only. Actually, you know what this is? This is a continuation of the uh, Marvel series. The classics. This is pretty awesome. It's not quite a crossover. But what if, boys and girls, what if... Star Wars and Serenity met up. They're not going to meet up in this book. It's a flip book. Uh, but both stories do appear to be written by Zach Whedon, who, you know, as we all know, is probably related to Joss Whedon, who's directing the Avengers this year, coincidentally. Speaking of Joss Whedon, he didn't write this either. Andrew Chambliss did. He had the time. You know, Joss was busy. He was making movies. But luckily there's a guy named Andrew who... Took it upon himself to write this beautiful Buffy comic. And you flip it over, and there she is, Felicia Day, bringing it, the guild. Awesome geek stuff. Steve Larson did not write this comic, I am willing to bet. Um, but it's adapted from his excellent Girl to Dragon Tattoo book and uh, film. And this is a beautiful cover, looks like by Lee Bermejo, if I'm not mistaken. I might be, but it's pretty awesome. Here's the book you didn't know you wanted. But here it is anyway, My Favorite Martian. That's right. Take a trip down memory lane with, um, who was My Favorite Martian? Just leave that in the comments box. Uh, whoever uh, comments first 
telling me who that guy is, they get a free copy of this book. Just come down to the comic book and you'll get it. Burt Ward, Boy Wonder. Now what's awesome about this, besides the fact that it's from Blue Water, and we all know how awesome Blue Water is, you see Burt Ward here represented on the front, but didn't you open it up? It's the first ever sneak peek inside the book. And there's Burt Ward as he really is, boys and girls. He, he did not say, tone me down. He's like, here I am, bring it. And you flip this over, and you've got Wrath of the Titans. Oh yeah. Moving on down to the superhero releases this year. There's a, there's a handful of great books, uh, some things that uh, you maybe have never read before, and it's a great time to expose yourself to them. A uh, little double entendre there. Free comic book day. DC's New 52. Um, DC uh, kind of cleared a little bit of house. I think they shaved off eight of their New 52 books and they're bringing in eight new titles and this will be your first look at those. Uh, and they look pretty good actually. I'm, I'm kind of flipping through here. I love the new Batman comic, Scott Snyder's Batman. It's awesome. And um, some of the books that they're canceling we won't name names, but it's like okay, I, I didn't shed any tears and I'm excited about some of the ones coming in to replace it, and I'm excited to check this out. Okay, so, you've gone, you've had your popcorn, you've grabbed Molnir by the handle, and you've summoned lightning, and you've thrown your shield at those who opposed, and you are ready for more Avengers. Now, if you are a hardcore comic book aficionado like us, the first thing you'll notice about this book is that you've probably already read it. <laughs> it's by Brian Michael Bendis, art by Brian Hitch. And it, I think it was Avengers 12.1, I can't remember, but now it is Avengers Point One, And uh, this is really for those people who haven't been reading comics, who aren't in on this secret society that we're all a part of. And uh, I think they'll be pretty impressed. So let's, you know, give those folks a hug. Say, come on into the comic shop. This is pretty awesome. Spider-Man, Season 1. Okay, pet peeve time. Stop calling things Season 1. Stop calling things Director's Cuts. These are comic books. There's no season, there's no directors in comics, but this is Spider-Man Season 1, um, and it's for those who still don't know Spider-Man's origin, um, it's, it's another trip down that road. I'm sure that they've reinvented the wheel here, and it's, it's free, and it looks, it, it looks good. It looks really good, i got to say. Um, there it is, and it's free, and it's Spider-Man. And look at that. That's coming up in June, Spider-Man. Yes. Okay, my favorite section of the store, the independent comics. This is where some of the greatest bright ideas and bright, young, fresh talent comes from. You can just smell the freshness coming off of some of these books. Um, Jurassic Strike Force 5, for instance, from Silver Dragon. No, that's a Silver Dragon. This is Xenoscope, I believe. Um, is this a flip book? I'm surprised you can't flip this over and get a Grim Fairy Tales because uh, that's what they do best. But um, anyway, here's the Jurassic Strike Force 5. We have a guy that shops here, we call him Dinosaur Steve, because he buys five copies of everything with a dinosaur on it, and we love him. Uh, we're going to save him five of these, so we'll leave some for you guys. Atomic Robo. Hey, there's a dinosaur. I'll have to save him five of these, too, won't I? Um, I mean, Red 5 just makes quality, quality books, and, and uh, I'm never ashamed to show people like a title that they put out. Atomic Robo being the best. I believe it won an Eisner. If not, it was at least nominated. And it's just a fun you know, no holds barred sci-fi romp. I'm sure you guys already know it if you're watching this video and if you're watching this far into the video. Intrinsic from Arcana. We're going to have some of these guys here, actually. We're going to have three of the writers from Arcana Studios, and I believe, how many people, yeah, we're going to have all three writers from Intrinsic. This book is so good, it took three men to write it. That's a lot of writing. So, And it's free. I mean, they must work for peanuts. I don't know. This is pretty cool. Stephen Colbert's uh, Nightmare. World's Most Dangerous Animals. Beware of wild animals. I love reading my son these like, wild animal books because it just scares the crap out of him, you know, um, before he goes to bed. There's, there's things about crocodiles, bears, and, and probably the scariest thing about this book is this bare-chested man who, who is walking through the woods shooting bears. Maybe the real terror is man, not the bear. I don't know. Um, anybody got Walking Dead, early issues of Walking Dead, or even later issues of Walking Dead, and flipping those bad boys on eBay? Comic book marketplace. This is like the Wall Street Journal for us comic nerds. The greatest horror comics of all time, and they're obviously sort of alluding to a Walking Dead-ish 
kind of cover. You know, I would say it was a cash in if it wasn't free. But um, anyway, Overstreet's uh, they, they produce a fantastic price guide every year, and here's a little like this is perfect for the guy that brings in his tattered Superman number seventy five and wants a million dollars. I could I should just save these and say here here's what your comics are worth. <laughs> Valiant, they're coming back, baby. Like MC Hammer, or hopefully better than MC Hammer. Um, we're gonna have Joshua Dysart, who's writing Harbinger uh, for Valiant, and it does look fantastic. I gotta tell you, um, there's a, a couple preview pages you can go online and find. It. And look at that, David. Is it David Aja or David Aha? I don't know. It's a fantastic cover, and I think that might be one of the. I don't know if it's a variant cover. I don't know what, what that is, but I'm curious. And as soon as I'm done making this video, I'm gonna be going over to Valiant comics.com and seeing how I can get one of these. I work here, I'll be able to get it, right? Anyway, Exo Man of War, Harbinger, and some uh, sneak peeks of, of some other exciting books they have in the pipeline, as well as some announcements of creative talent on those books. And it's top-notch talent. Anti from Gail Ann Hurd. That's right, boys and girls. She doesn't need James Cameron. She's still doing it. 12 Gauge Comics, Anti... Uh, anti what? Probably Antichrist is, is my guess. Um, there's a crucified person on a target thing. And uh, yeah, Peter Calloway brought this to you from producer Gillian Hurd. Except no substitutes. Worlds of Aspen. We're going to have a lot of the Aspen crew here. Uh, we're going to have, uh, who are we going to have here? We're going to have David Wall. And we're going to have the writer of Idolized. And his name is... I should know this stuff just off the top of my head. Anyway, he's going to be here, and he's going to be signing comics for you. David Schwartz. He's been here before back when he did Meltdown. See, David, I remember you. Anyway, Worlds of Aspen. Aspen's awesome. They're continuing uh, Michael Turner's legacy, and uh, they're branching out to some new ideas, and I'm, I'm excited. I wish them the best of luck. And Witchblade's still doing it, too. Tim Seeley's uh, at the reins here. I think he's writing this. No, Ron Mars is writing it. Hmm. And, and Tim Seeley. So a couple guys bringing this to you. You flip it over. It's not another comic. It's just an ad for the Darkness video game with voice work by none other than Mike Patton. Zombie Kid from... An uh, is that... Yeah, that's, is it AP? It's Antarctic Press. It's, okay, yeah, it's Antarctic Press. Zombie Kid. They're trying to fool me. And they're also bringing back Airboy. That comes out Wednesday. That's not going to be free. It's going to be on sale. So don't come here asking for this for free. Bring $4. But if you want that free, it's yours. Lady Death, the beginning. Brian Polito's uh, Boundless Entertainment. Uh, he's uh, still doing this Lady Death, and he's. I've flipped through this. It's pretty gruesome, pretty violent, and that's exactly what Lady Death needs to be. Sexy too, and free. Hey, hey. Your love is like bad medicine. This is not from Jersey. This is not Bon Jovi. This is Nunzio de Felipe's. Try saying that three times fast. Uh, Bad Medicine from Oni Press. Last year they offered up uh, Spontaneous, and that was a cool book about spontaneous combustion. Uh, there's somebody missing a head on the front here. Um, some stuff's going down, and the only way you're going to find out what is going down is by picking this up for free on May 5th. Okay, Cassandra Clary's uh, Infernal Devices. We're going to be giving this away May 5th. Enough said. We're getting into some, some, uh, some of the more obscure titles, but you know what I, what I love about obscure is sometimes you pick up something you never heard of before, and it's like, wow, that just rocked my eyeballs. Now I need glasses. Moomin Valley Turns Jungle. I feel like a Philistine not knowing anything about this book, but um, it does look cute. And now it's in color, and now it's free. Same thing with Barnaby and o Mr. O'Malley. Fanographics, they do this to me every time. Um, they're like, I'm not, I've never heard of Crockett Johnson. I've heard of Don Johnson. I've heard of Sonny Crockett. I've not heard of Crockett Johnson. Is he real? I think it's Don Johnson. And I have heard of Howard Cruz. Who do you have me pegged for? This is the censored uh, book of Howard Cruz. And if you want the uncensored book, well, you're just going to have to pay for it. And this year's Star Free Comic Book Day exciting thing. Look, is this a hardcover in my hand? Did Arkea produce... A crazy mouse guard, labyrinth, and other stories. Hardcover? Yes, they did. We only have about 30 of these. Um, I don't know if we were allocated 
or if we didn't know if it was a hardcover or whatever. But my advice to you is as soon as you pick this up at Free Comic Day, because these are going to go fast, write your name on the inside um, because somebody might snag it. And it's pretty awesome. And these are going to be free. And they'll probably be like 8 or $9 on eBay uh, the next, maybe even later that afternoon. And I have something else that you can't get nowhere else but the comic bug. For you Lady Mechanica fans out there, Contra Alliance, the trilogy. Now, this is one book. It's not a trilogy. It's written by uh, local writer Tom Colega. And I say for you Lady Mechanica fans because Joe Benita has produced the cover art. And I believe there's a few pages of interior art and design. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is some exclusive Joe Benita's development artwork. This is a, it's a, it's going to be free. This, all this is going to be free. You don't have to share it with anybody. The author is going to be on hand. And, um, it's got Joe Benita's artwork inside. So, and it's a hardcover too. Not to, uh, one-up Arkea, because that could beat them together. This is awesome. There's a few things I don't have yet. Um, the Thor Hero Clicks, uh, Boom Studios is doing an Adventureland Peanuts flipbook. Both fantastic titles. Um, they're also doing a, another superhero book that I wrote down. We're going to get back to that. But I just want you guys to take a look over here. These are all of the comics that we ordered to give away on Free Comic Day. And we have lots. Uh, we, we've ordered thousands. Thousands of free comics. Some of them we have 500 copies of. You know, if, you're, if you want the Superman and the Avengers and the Green Lantern, you're in luck. We have enough for 500 people. Um, if you want the Valiant comic, uh, we've got a nice stack here. We've got more on the way. Uh, if you want this, show up early. We're going to let the line in at 11 a.m., but we're going to open at 10 a.m. We're going to have a big sale. We've got about 40 creators booked here, including Elephant Men's Richard Starkings, who's bringing his own free Elephant Men comic that you can come and pick up here. Joshua Dysart from Harbinger, uh, Robbie Rodriguez. Uh, the list is going to be online, and it, it's pretty awesome and pretty massive. And uh, we're proud to have all of them here on this biggest free comic day in L.A. How about that? As we were going to press, there's a few titles we still haven't received, but I'm just going to read those off real quick. Uh, we're going to have Peanuts and an Adventure Time flipbook. I think I mentioned that earlier. Image 20. I think they're going to be looking at the last 20 years and hopefully looking at the next 20 years. Uh, Boom is bringing us the Hypernaturals. No, yeah, the Hypernaturals. Yeah, not the Hypernauts. Hypernauts would be cool, but we got Hypernaturals. Less sodium, more fiber. Uh, Grant Morrison, S Dinos and Aliens, or Dinosaurs and Aliens. Yeah, I think he's working with Barry Sonnenfeld on that in Liquid Comics. And uh, Grant Morrison. Um, Graphic Elvis, I believe that's by Stan Lee, or he's got something to do with it. And we all know who Elvis is. And there's a Thor Hero Clicks, too. So um, hopefully those will be in next week, because we don't have them yet. But um, we'll have them on May 5th. You've made it this far, true believer. You deserve a reward. This video could be 20 minutes long. Who knows? But when you check out on Free Comic Day, you have your big pile of graphic novels and new comics that you're buying, not just the free comics. Use this special password to get a 25% discount on your purchase that day. Excelsior! Say I'm here for the Excelsior deal. And uh, my man Greg, he'll give you 25% off. Or maybe Daniel, whoever's working to register. Um, but once again, just a quick rundown. Free comic book day, Saturday, May 5th. Uh, we're going to let the line in at 11, but when are you going to be here? That's right, earlier than 11. If you want to get a good place in line, you want that hardcover, right? Um, and we're going to be rocking it all day long. It officially ends at 4, but we've tried to do that before, and it usually goes till 6 or 7, or until supplies run out on certain books, which will be very early. And uh, we hope to see you here at the Comic Bug. Just five miles south of LAX, Excelsior.